Hello, I am Joshua P. Warren, and I am going to give you a tour of my online curiosity shop. You will find it if you go to joshuapwarren.com. There's no period after the P at joshuapwarren.com. And you'll find all kinds of interesting things on this site, but right here on the main menu, you will see the Curiosity Shop. You click that link, and that's where we will get into the goodies I will tell you more about in this video. I'm doing this because uh, I got, let's see, a, a tweet. This is my uh, Twitter feed, at Joshua P. Warren, at Joshua P. Warren. I hope that you will follow me on Twitter. I got this tweet from Michael Lamedico. And he bought some stuff from the shop, and he said he has three cool things on the way, and he would really appreciate if I recorded a video for better backstory and understanding of the cool things on the site. So I'm not sure exactly what he has in mind, but I figured, yeah, I'm happy to talk more about what's in the curiosity shop because these are things that I love. Uh, I don't have a brick and mortar shop. Everything that I sell is through the curiosity shop. Once in a blue moon, I might put something on eBay if I want to do an auction, but not only uh, do I sell everything here through the Curiosity Shop page, but also most of the stuff is stuff that you just will not find anywhere else in the world. And that's because I uh, basically invented it, created it, I generated it, and these are things that are, are made, you know, handcrafted here in the USA in small batches by a very small number of people. Um, you know, so like, for example, a lot of the stuff is stuff that I just have come up with based on my, on my experiments. And, and if I make a batch of a few hundred of something, then my wife, Lauren, who's very talented, she might help craft things or uh, Christina, a lady here in Las Vegas, who's very uh, talented, she might help or Mobius makes some things. Of course, Dr. Mulder makes all of the uh, wishing machines by hand. So uh, I, but what I can tell you is that everything comes directly from uh, small, personally made batches of, of items with a lot of love and attention paid. You're not going to find this stuff on Amazon or, or anywhere else. I'm, not, I'm serious. So, okay, I'm just going to sort of go through uh, everything on the site. Now, mind you, the site is always changing as uh, new items are developed things frequently go in and out of stock and i get emails from people all the time asking about things that have been out of stock for years and, I, and they say oh can you make some more no if i, if I tell you something is coming out and it's a one-time thing uh, i'm very serious about that okie doke so here we go uh first off we'll start with the top left hand corner this is my book use the force i consider this to be the handbook for how to draw positive things into your life it is a jedi's guide to the law of attraction i published this book in 2015 and whether or not you're into star wars you know, you anybody can take these lessons and the reason i know that these are going to change your life and make it better and attract like a whole new degree of happiness into your life is because I I read all the books by the great, the, the ascended masters and metaphysicians and psychologists and psychiatrists and neurologists and evangelists. And, and, I, and I took the best stuff that I could get and then combined it with my own experience and my own experimental results and I put it in, into this book so um, that all kind of speaks for itself uh, the miraculous prayer board here you'll uh, you'll see it also come up later on this thing this is one of my best-selling products this is based on the work of Tom Vrilock and uh, this is something I use every single day. Um, there's a nice nine minute video here that will tell you all you need to know about this. Uh, and you know, the funny thing is, I should point out when it comes to a lot of my products, people who might wanna know more uh, might not realize that when I do a video, like I pretty much tell you everything I have to say about it in that video because a lot of the things that I present are experimental things, mean, meaning like I've experimented with this and here's what it's doing for me, but I don't necessarily know 
how how this works you know these are experimental items and that's the great thing about sending them out there and getting feedback and so the best way to stay up to date on uh, you know breaking news regarding the feedback from other people is just to listen to my uh my free podcast uh okay let's see all right next the money magic kit all right if we go over here same kind of deal here is a nice little six minute video and it tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the money magic kit this is one of those things that i developed based upon years of studying different methods of attracting money i invented and created this little green um, pad that you see right here that has a very special pattern on it this is a virtual radionics pattern and what it does theoretically is take whatever you put in the middle and project it outward and then we have a crystal ball here for a lot of reasons and uh, that are all really explained in in the video and in the instructions there's there actually is a little secret to this one that you only get if you buy it which is why we have that nice little piece of raffia tie and all that up but uh you know there's a video for that uh, next we have here the sigil pendant set now this is especially cool because these are pendants that i created based upon this field of research that i invented called parasymatics and here you have a nine minute and 38 video that tells you all about that and uh why that these are so special and i like to wear them um well i i i kind of like uh it depends on what i'm doing like if i'm going to like a casino I, li I live in las vegas i'll put on the money sigil i don't need the love sigil anymore i'm good there uh if i'm going to do an experiment i put on the psychic sigil or if i'm going to go to a haunted house i'll put on the ghost sigil so you know you can kind of mix it up and and experiment with that uh, of course right here it says click here for your free gift um, if you click there what you do is you put in your email address and hit submit boom that's it you're done and you'll get an email from me and it gives you instant access to a free digital good luck charm some instructions on how to make some aura glasses at home but here's something else cool if you click that uh, link and you hit submit you are also going to get something that I just created moneymiraclesecret.com and if you go there this gives you a five minute money miracle secret and i know that i i came up with that title because i i wanted it to sound like a really sensational infomercial kind of title but it's actually all free it's a free short ebook audio book and audio tones and um that will also be available to you if you put in your um your email address here you get sent that and if you're in a position where you're like okay there's all this cool stuff on your website josh but um i do not um i don't have the money to buy any of this stuff well that's okay if you go to moneymiraclesecret.com uh, or you just fill in your email address right here then you're going to get some free tools that will attract the money into your life and you can do whatever you want with it including coming back here so here's a video about the prayer board the classic wishing machine uh, this thing is I'm, I'm telling you this is the raw classic wishing machine how does it work nobody knows um it cost $195 within the U.S. You add a little extra for shipping if you're outside the U.S. But if you want to know about the wishing machine, oh boy, you know, you're in luck. You click that link right there and bring up this website. And I'm telling you, first off, a lot of people overlook this. Maybe I should make it bigger. But it says click here for frequently asked questions. And if you click there, you're going to find a lot of great information questions the most common questions i get along with the answers and then um also when you're here uh you can go to workshops and you'll see that i'm not doing any more live workshops i've done enough of those but fortunately 
I uh, I was able to record one that I did in my hometown of Asheville, North Carolina. It's actually uh, filmed by Mr. C. Eric Scott. And right now, you can watch this for free. It's called The Wishing Machine Workshop Movie. I don't know how long I'm going to leave it up for free, but it's two and a half hours long. And if, if you have any questions about The Wishing Machine, betwixt that and the frequently asked questions, it's like, that should cover it. But there's more! Go to the news section up here. And if you click that, I mean, you're going to see all kinds of articles and updates and interviews you can listen to. But what's even cooler is that I have done over the years a lot of little like uh, instructional videos on YouTube, like webinars, and all those are posted there. I mean, it's unbelievable how much information there is for free about the wishing machine if you click that little link and then of course there's a whole section of testimonials and and you know you can you can not only it's one thing to write a testimonial you know we have all these written testimonials but you can listen to testimonials by clicking these mp3s because i recorded this stuff through my radio show so take advantage of that if you're going to buy a wishing machine before you hit the button and buy the basic one Click that link and learn about it. Okay, now we have the Tibetan Emos, Instant Meditation Orbs. These are special little uh, thin, translucent, plastic sort of uh, domes that you put over your eyes to transform your brain into the theta state. It's that simple. Now, you can take ping pong balls, like, or, or you could just take a ping pong ball and cut it in half and create something similar. But I started doing that and I found they were really jagged and uncomfortable on my eyes. And also they put some kind of like chemical, I don't know if it's camphor or some, some kind of menthol kind of chemical in there and it kind of burns your eyes. And so I specifically had these manufactured to be perfect, comfortable little domes. They're only $24.95 that you put over your eyes and this will convert you into the theta state you can just if you don't know what that is we'll click this button and it shows you all about like this is a spin about tulpas which is really weird you have to read that to see what that's all about but it gets into the, into the fact that you know your brain is usually functioning at a certain frequency 15 to 40 hertz and then you can go into to like lower calmer states like the alpha state and then there's this thing called the theta state and that's the state of meditation that's the, the state that psychics get into or athletes get into when they're in the zone or a mathematician gets into when he or she is working on a hard problem so um, these when you put these over your eyes and you follow the instructions it will automatically force you into that psychic meditative state it'll it'll force you into the zone and three minutes or less usually it's less and um, this will become a part of your life if you buy these things I, next we have of course the scalar energy pendants this is one of the weirdest things that I sell because I don't make these these are made in Japan and um, I was in uh, a little town uh, you see here once again click here for information you click that and uh, Okay, we have some in stock right now. You might go there and it'll be red and say out of stock. You click that and you'll see there are two different types. There's a video that tells you everything I know about them. Um, this is called the ground, which is the one I, I'm wearing right now uh, as I speak. And this is called the flow. And uh, the flow... Uh, well, okay, before I tell you what that's supposed to mean, let me just tell you that I was in a little town that has a reputation for mysticism. I don't want to say exactly where I was. And I walked into a shop and I saw these pendants for sale and I bought them. And I, like, within 24 hours, I really loved them because I felt really good. I felt good when I was wearing, especially the one that is the ground one, which, which is this one. And the idea is that this is supposed to enhance wellness of the body like the physical body and this is to sort of enhance 
the mind and the spirit. And uh, my mind is pretty well as strong as it's going to get, I think. But, you know, none of us are getting any younger. So I was really happy with, with the ground one especially. And it turns out that the guy who was providing these to the shop lived in the town. And so I met with him and we had dinner and he was telling me about these. And he said that these are, uh, you know, he buys them from Japan. And uh, the way they are made is kind of a secret proprietary thing. I mean, it's not it's not that secret. Like it comes on a nice long chain. What what they pretty much do is they take um, they take minerals and they use them to capture what is supposed to be a healthy bioenergy field. Watch this video if you want to know more about that. But um, one thing that's really cool about this, and people say, well, what is scalar energy? Well, that's that's a complicated thing. Uh, if you if you go to like Wikipedia here and you look up scalar, it says, well, scalar in math or or physics or well. So if you click up uh, click scalar in physics, um, it's going to give you pretty much of information you're probably not going to understand. My understanding of of scalar is that it has to do with a force that is equal in all directions. So think of, say, like the water in a fish tank. It's sort of equally dispersed in all directions. If you poke a hole in the side of that fish tank, as the water comes out, every part of the tank is going to uniformly decrease. Or if you pour water into the fish tank, it's going to uniformly increase. And um, this scalar energy, and that's what it says on the back, I'm wearing mine right now, is an energy that apparently is sort of an ever-present energy that the Japanese say, using this technique that you can learn about in the video, um, that the Japanese say makes you feel better. Well, one thing I can tell you is that, yes, it makes me feel better, but furthermore, Dr. Mulder, uh, he got one of these from me six years ago, and he wears his every single day, and he says he has not had so much as a sniffle. Now, I don't sell health products. I, for one thing, I'm not a physician. I don't advocate or promote anything medical. Uh, it's also illegal to do that because, you know, again, you, you, you should not be taking health advice from somebody who doesn't have training. But what I can tell you, is that a lot of people say when they get these things and they wear them every day, they never get sick. I do not wear mine every single day because I have so many different cool pendants. I like to like mix them up a little bit. I could be like Mr. T and put them all on and wear them all every day, but I also have a gift for tangling things up. So uh, I don't wear it every day, but I, I do wear it often. And you just have to watch the video to learn more about that. The psionic dematerializer, hey, you know, it kind of speaks for itself. There's a nice video about that that explains everything, a.k.a. the Bad Buster, another one of my most popular products. It's almost sold out right now uh, as I speak. So I, I will consider making another batch down the road. Uh, a nice little video about my certified paranormal investigator course. Hit the play button. You'll learn everything you need to learn about that. And then you will see all of this information that uh, right now I am giving everybody a special discount. This is usually $499. That's what people all over the world have paid right now. I, uh, as we speak, now don't hold me to this, I don't know when you're watching this video, but today you can take my online paranormal investigator certification course for $199, uh, and yeah, everybody loves that thing. Money Magic Kid again, the Vortex one, you know, this video pretty much shows you what the deal is, um, so, you know, you just watch that video and Everything I know about it is there. That's a really cool one. I use this one personally just before I'm about to do uh, a psychic exercise or a meditation. And sometimes if I'm going to go do something fun, like go to a casino for a night, I'll, I'll use that also to sort of roll off 
any kind of uh, bad energy, so to speak, and try to make sure that I have nothing but positivity. The Forces of Nature wand, I used to make wands all the time. I don't have the time to make them anymore. This was my favorite wand, and I believe this is my best-selling wand ever. And um, I make small batches here and there when I can of these because it's just so cool. And... You know, it's the one that has the magnets and the crystals and the coils combined. I mean, it's pretty kick-ass. Um, so I only have a few of these left right now. And you just have to watch the video and learn all about it. Uh, one of the cool things about this one is it's got two magnets on the end that are very, very powerful neodymium magnets. And they are forced together. With like you know how you can take a magnet and north and south will attract, but north and north repel or south and south repel. These are magnets that repel each other. They don't want to be together. So I have them forced together with a bolt. So where do you think all that potential energy is going? The idea is that it's going up through this coil into this crystal. And man, <laughs> every day somebody tells me about something that they've manifested using the forces of nature wand. It is the coolest wand. I think I've created. So you just hit the play button there. Watch that video. The Secret Wisdom of Kukul Khan is, uh, this is a book that I wrote, I think in 2008. It's short. It's like 100 pages. And I wanted to sort of condense my theory about what it is to be a human and the meaning of life. And, uh, what this whole experience is about by looking back at what ancient people were trying to tell us because it occurs to me that ancient people were probably more intelligent than intelligent than we are they were not as informed as we are but they were probably more intelligent because they had rougher odds and rougher conditions that they were working against and so for them to survive in that rough world meant that they had to be more practical and intelligent. We're spoiled today. So yes, we have all this extra information and convenience, but that facilitates the opposite of survival of the fittest. In the past, it was survival of the fittest. If you, if you didn't have intelligence, you weren't going to make it. Uh, and the the people who lived in the past they tried to tell us something about the past they tried to share with us some kind of information about the world that they were living in and the things they experienced and most of it has decayed but they carved in stone some of the things that they want us to know about and so i i sat down and i talked about why i wrote this book and there I, there was one lady she wrote me one of the coolest emails I've ever gotten. I remember it. She said, I opened this book and I read the first couple paragraphs and I realized this was the book that I'd been waiting to read my entire life. Now, how would that make you feel as an author? So right now you can get that as a special re-release as an ebook, and I think you can get the printed book on Amazon as well. Finding your magic. Oh boy. You know what? So many people, um, they, they enjoy this kind of stuff, but they just say, ah, it just doesn't work for me. You know, it doesn't work for me. Well, and, and maybe they try out some method. And that method doesn't work. And so they just throw up their hands and say, well, that method didn't work, so it's all hooey. Finding Your Magic is an ebook and an audio book that teaches you how to find the method that's going to work for you to give you real results. So don't give up. If you're a skeptical or, or cynical type person, you, you're doubtful and you say, uh, the, I like to think, but it just you know, it doesn't work. Try this out, Finding Your Magic. And right now, if you order it, it also comes with a wand. But, but, I'm not sure, 
I, th you know what, I looked just today, and I think I might have, like, less than 10 of those left, so pretty soon, I'm going to have to remove the wand, because I'm not going to make any more of those, I don't have time, anyway, um, finding your magic is something, if you, if you're interested in that, you take a little test, and you grade yourself, and it will tell you about yourself, and match you with a system that's going to work for you. Okay, uh, this is just, you know, some of the cool little books that I've written. Uh, if you go, I mean, you can buy them right here, $9.95, and you get a link to download all of them as PDFs, or you can go to Warren Books Now. And uh, when you do that, well, it just tells you more about each of the books. Poor Man's Paranormal has been very, very popular. A manual on using household items to document ghosts, UFOs, cryptids, and psychic activity. The Wishing Machine Workbook, that's a really good one because it, it covers virtual wishing machines as and, and, without getting, you know, I mean, we touch on the physical stuff, but this is really cool if you're into patterns and symbols. Brown Mountain Lights, this is just one of those things that you will enjoy reading if you're into the mysterious world because I, I grew up in Asheville, North Carolina, and these are... A, uh, a phenomena. These are phenomena from the mountains near Asheville that uh, to this day remain mysterious. What are these balls of light floating around? And then, of course, don't play with Robert, the world's most haunted doll. I'll tell you something interesting about this. When I wrote this, I thought I was, you know, friends with everybody down there in Key West. And this one lady who uh, was attached to the doll, she said, ah, oh, this is terrible. She just hated it because she was feeling sort of obsessed with Robert and didn't like the fact that, you know, even though I thought my title was playful, you know, don't play with Robert. She thought she took it as an insult and uh, tried to sort of like, ban this book from Key West, Florida, where, where Robert lives, but uh, she's not an issue anymore, so now everybody loves it. Um, and let's see. Oh, you know, because this is a curiosity shop, sometimes I just put cool videos on here um, to attract people there. I'll say, hey, go to my curiosity shop and you'll see a cool video. So this is a video... Uh, that my buddy Steve Barone, who lives in Las Vegas, took of this weird cigar or Tic Tac shaped thing shooting uh, right outside of Las Vegas at supersonic speed, I guess, or something close to that. And it's got this little plume coming off the back and nobody can figure out what the heck that is. And then uh, my buddy Daniel Hurst, uh, who is a paranormal investigator who took my online course, he captured these ghostly footsteps uh, moving through a building that's haunted by the ghost of an old woman. You have to go and, and really look at this in detail because this is crazy. Like you can see like some little orb or something goes by. And then right after that, you can see her ghostly footsteps right where people would hear ghostly footsteps. And then um, I am experimenting with invisibility material. And so this video I mean, I'm telling you, sometimes people watch this and they think that I've used, um, like, CGI. But no, no, this is this is an actual physical material, as you can see. It's a cylinder that makes objects virtually invisible. It's a little bit hazy, but still, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's pretty good. And I actually took that material and, and I used it uh, to make myself invisible. As a matter of fact, I even include that in the video. You'll see, if you go to my curiosity shop, you will see me using this to make myself invisible. And I use that material in the psionic dematerializer, the bad buster, uh, to neutralize bad energies. This is, I, I call this a, a, a product for, uh, I call this magic for people who don't like magic. Uh, this is designed basically all the time when you're using magical thinking, people tell you, well, try to visualize what you want and be all positive. 
And that's hard for some people. It's easier to focus on what you don't want, what you don't like. And so um, the dematerializer says, well, okay, that's fine. You don't have to focus on what you want. Just take what you don't want and put it into this tube and neutralize it. So you watch the video, you'll, you'll understand, you'll get the point. Um, and then what else do we have here? Ah, yes. I invented the company called Sunshine Simple. It is the world's most powerful solar generator for the lowest price guaranteed. And we sold tons of these things, but uh, I eventually ended up selling the company to my business partner, Mobius, because for, for one thing, he was the guy actually making the machines. Um, and he just really knew the business way better than I did. I kind of went to him and said, look, I just want a machine that will do this. Make it happen. And he said, okay, and let me work on it. And a couple like weeks later, he had a pretty good prototype. And within like probably six weeks, we were in business. The world's most powerful solar generator for the lowest price. You can get a system starting at 598 bucks shipped. It's amazing. And if you have a generator right now, great. Does it take a liquid fuel, gasoline? Well, that's smelly. It's dangerous. The generator is loud. And what happens when the fuel runs out and you can't get it? Because that's what happens when an emergency occurs. Well, with this, you put up a solar panel. There's a wire that comes from the solar panel. You plug it into the unit and you're done. And after that, you got free energy the rest of your life. Sunshinesimple.com Paratemporal night vision. You know what? When I... When I bought my first pair of night vision goggles, you have to click on that to bring up this page about paratemporal night vision. I paid, I think, about $3,000 for my first pair of night vision so that I could not only investigate haunted houses, but if you use these things and you look at the sky, you would not believe the UFOs that you will see flying around. It's, I mean, I'm telling you. And, and today, it's becoming more and more difficult to figure out what you're looking at because we have the Space Force and... Yeah, drones and Elon Musk is, he's, you know, what he's up to. So, look, basically, it's getting harder. But if you want a good pair of night vision, this is the only type of night vision that is field tested by Mobius, by our team, specifically to give you the best night vision to use with a camera to do research. And... There's a lot of cool information on this site. But if you go to to buy it, if you go to the product order page, some people right now, they're frustrated because it says, if you want to buy a, a pair, it says send us an email. And people go, oh, well, I'm not going to do that. It's got to be too expensive. Well, actually, they're only like $595. And the site needs to be updated to say that. Uh... But the reason it says send your inquiries is because different people have different goals and they want to customize it for different types of cameras and things. And that's why it says that Mobius was in charge of putting this website together. And I think he got somebody from like England or something to do it because we don't spell inquiries with an E here. So anyway, I don't know if they do that in England either. But, yeah, if you're going to get some night vision, I'm telling you, don't waste your money because you will get ripped off so easily. Get the best night vision you can find for around 595 bucks by clicking that link and going to the paratemporal night vision. And then we have here Ghosts, UFOs, and Legends of Death Valley. This is a book I wrote and published last year. Here's what blew my mind, okay? I went to Death Valley for the first time last year death valley california the hottest place on earth and what blew my mind is that nobody had ever written a book about the paranormal phenomena in death valley can you believe that and so i i mean i'm one of those guys if i go to a new town immediately i start like researching it and getting all the weird stories 
So I found so many wild stories about Death Valley that I said, I got to put them together. And that's what you have here. It's a nice little book. You can, if you buy this, you'll get the physical book. You'll get an ebook and an audio book with me reading it to you. And right now, that's about it. So I don't really have anything more that I can say to you about what's on the Curiosity Shop page um, that's not covered in the instructional videos. This is pretty, uh, pretty darn thorough. And then if you go here to the homepage again, let me just remind you, there's a lot to explore on this page. These are all my tweets. You can scroll through and get links to a lot of cool stuff. This is where you go for parasymatic sigils. And a lot of people miss this. this. Look at this link right here. It says, for a complete list of new sigils, click here. Don't miss that little yellow link, because if you do that, that brings up the main parasymatics page. And at first, it has a description. Like, this is audio of me telling you what the heck this stuff is. And then you have the most extensive list this is, these are all of the parasymatic sigils. And then we get into parasymatics 2.0 sigils with audio tones. All that stuff is there. You just have to be sure that you, on the home page, click that little yellow link there. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, you know, my, this site is kind of like a reflection of my brain. So it's kind of cluttered and messy and, uh, and bizarre. But, you know, fine. If, if, you, if you want something, you'll find it. it. It's easy to use. I can tell you that. The site may be a little cluttered and bizarro, but it's easy to use. Um, and then we have here the Gallery of the Strange, which needs to be updated. I have so much new stuff. Where I have a whole section on time anomalies, the world's wildest ghost photos, the White House ghost photo, and, and, like, you can click on any of these things, and it opens up a whole new world. So you go to, like, World's Wildest Ghost Photos. It's like, now we're moving you into this land. And this is page after page of the wildest ghost photos that I believe are real. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, you, you can just get lost in this. So, basically, here are the lessons to take away from this video. Number one, whatever you do... Uh, Go sign up for my free e-newsletter, hit the submit button, get a free gift. If you don't have any money to buy anything, this will help you get money. All right, trust me on that. Follow me on Twitter at Joshua P. Warren. And uh, just go to the Curiosity Shop, you know, and just check everything out, man. It's just cool. You, it, it, it might just give you an idea about something that you can use. So there you have it. And, uh, Michael, I hope that you are happy with that video. And so, uh, I will say that is my first occasion giving you a virtual tour of my online curiosity shop and new items are on the way, but some of the old stuff is almost sold out. So remember that. Okay. My friends, thank you for watching. And be sure to keep up with me by clicking that button and following my free podcast. All right, take it easy. Thanks.